Woods now facing charges for hitting and killing a local father and grandfather last year. But some argue he's not the only one responsible. Instead, it was the police chasing him. Tonight, Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger has the high speed stakes with new data on just how many innocent people are killed during police chases. He was hit right around the corner from his house. He was just trying to get home so he could watch my baby. A family devastated by the death of 59 year old Andre Adams last year is a senseless death. A driver fleeing from police after an attempted traffic stop on August 27, 2022, hit Adams. Now, a year later, the man behind the wheel, Darian Brooks, has been charged. According to police, he told them, quote, My life is over. I just killed someone. I don't even know why I didn't stop. But some people have since questioned, should the police have been pursuing Brooks in the first place for violating traffic laws? The real important question in all of this is, is it worth it? Chuck Wexler with the Police Executive Research Forum helped pen a brand new report for the Department of Justice that calls on police to reconsider their policies on when to chase suspects. A national investigation by Gray TV found that more than 8,200 people have been killed in police pursuits nationwide in the last two decades, according to the Department of Transportation. First Alert 4 Investigates also crunched the numbers and found often those killed are not involved in the pursuit at all. Since 2000 in Missouri, 112 people who were uninvolved in the police chase were killed during a pursuit. In Illinois, the number is 101 innocent people killed. It's not as though we're saying don't ever pursue, but we're saying if you're going to pursue, make sure that it is for the right reasons. Among this new report's recommendations, pursuit should only take place when one, a violent crime has been committed and two, when the suspect poses an imminent threat to commit another violent crime. We pulled St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department's policy. It says something just a bit different, saying, quote, vehicular pursuits may be initiated when an officer has reason to believe that the suspect has committed a felony involving the use or threatened use of deadly force and a delay in apprehending the suspect will pose a danger to other people. They tell us so far this year there have been 234 pursuits in the city involving the agency and two fatalities associated with those pursuits. There is now a warrant out for Darian Brooks' arrest for the murder of Andre Adams. It is certainly a case we will continue to track. I'm Lauren Traeger, First Alert 4 Investigates.